Hi, in this video, I'll be covering how to highlight highest and lowest sales on a bar chart. A bar chart can be one of the most common types of charts you show. Why not spice things up by leading your audience to certain parts of the chart? If you're charting sales or productivity numbers, you may want to focus on the high numbers as well as the low numbers. The highest and lowest sales can be highlighted on a bar chart by using different colors for the bars. For example, the highest sales can be represented by a green bar, while the lowest sales can be represented by an orange bar. This will help to make the data more visually appealing and easier to understand. Is it hard to do? No. It's so easy, even a caveman can do it. So let's check it out. I have my bar charts here, and if I go into formulas, calculate now, or just uh, you can see if I hover over here, just press the F9 key, that will activate that. So if I press the F9 key, you can see that it changes. Now, one thing to note is if I hide my column here, these are the columns that are representing those high and lows. If I hide that, you can see one of them disappears and the other one doesn't. And I'll show you why that happens in near closer to the end of the video and how you can configure that to not have it do that. It's still showing up here, but in the background, right? So I'll show you how to fix that so it doesn't happen to you. So let's get into how we can do this. So here I am in a new sheet and I just put in a random number generator to show the sales. Now for my minimum, I need to put in an if statement. So I'll go if the cell equals the minimum, M-I-N, open parentheses of my range here, press F4. Let's make sure the number signs are in front of the numbers or letters. These are absolute references. It won't change when I copy it down and close parentheses. If that is true, bring back this value. If it's not, bring back something called NA, not applicable, and this will make it sure that it doesn't chart on the line chart. Press enter, you can see that's NA, and double click the fill handle to copy the formula down. This value is the lowest out of this. So that takes care of our low. What about our high? What I'm gonna do is just copy this, control C to copy, press escape to get out of edit mode, go into the cell, go to formula, Go to formula bar, control V to paste, and instead of min, let's do max. And that will give me the high values. Control enter to stay in that cell to execute that. Double click the fill handle to bring it down. And 430 is the highest of this ever changing column here. Now, all I need to do now is go under insert and select my bar chart. Let's see, where's my bar chart here? And that's my bar charts, right? So what I need to do, let's get rid of these grid lines so they don't look that great. We have our bar chart, and I want to do a lot of the configuration before I make them overlap each other, because that's what basically we're doing. We're having these columns overlap that, and it will show up for these. So I'm going to pick my highs here, select that, right click, format data series. I want to make sure that I am formatting the data series S, and click on that fill. So let's select the fill, and we'll make this green, So because we're talking about sales. So we say that's green. And how about this other one, this orange one? Click on that. We're also in format dating series, plural. Make that yellow. And now when I do an F4, you can see that the colors stay consistent. What I also don't need now is this legend. So I'll go delete that legend. Ah, and another thing to consider is the label. Remember I had the label on the previous example. Select my green, right click, make sure I'm in add data series. Let's add the data label so it shows up. Do the same thing for the yellow one here. Right click, add data label, and let's try to test it again. Press F9. You can see that it follows it perfect. Also, one thing to consider with the bar chart, you can see that it starts with item 7 at the top, but we have item 1 here. What we can do is select on the label, and where it says format access, categories in reverse order, check that button, and now we have that. Now select on any of my, my on any of my bars. I'm gonna select just the blue bars right here. Probably want to do is kind of make these fade out a little bit, make them gray color instead of the blue. Click on the bucket here and make that a little grayish and it kind of fades out. Let's make that a little bit lighter probably and so it kind of fades out. And now all I need to do is go back into my series options and where it says series overlap, make that 100 percent Click outside press F9, you can see now my bar chart is pretty much where I want it. I have my lows, I have my highs, I've got my item numbers from top down, and this is where we can create our dynamic high-low bar chart with the labels that follow it along. 
So I mentioned before, if I select these cells and hide this, it looks like my data disappeared from the chart. And that's because the chart has been configured to a default where it hides them. So all you need to do is select the chart, go under chart design, select data, and under here where it says hidden empty cells, check this box and it comes back. Click OK. Let me do my F9 here. You can see that the chart comes back even though these columns are hidden. So that's how you can take care of that problem. Now you see that highlighting the mins and matches of your data in a bar chart is not only easy, it's a visually effective way to helping your audience focus on what you want them to see as the more important parts of their chart. Try this solution out the next time you need to compare products or solutions or to make decisions quicker by using colors to stand out. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end.